Hi and welcome to this bite-sized video on making the difference for our highest attaining students at foundation tier, helping them to secure that leap from grade four to grade five. So on screen, we can see some of the key areas where we see improved student performance at grade five compared to grade four. Now students that are working at grade four they already have a really good base of knowledge and skills across a broad range of that GCSE foundation curriculum. And they're able to apply this uh, with a good degree of success in problem solving contexts. What differentiates students who are uh, go on to achieve that grade five is the ability to deal with some of those more mathematically challenging topic areas. So things such as uh, rearranging formally to change the subject, solving simultaneous equations, and that more advanced geometrical reasoning involving uh, problems where they need to use trigonometry to solve. In terms of the ratio and proportion topics, uh, compound units, which we'll look at in a second, uh, is, it crops up as quite a key one, and also uh, being able to work with similar shapes. So just a few examples on screen with the type of compound unit questions that um, foundation students could encounter. Um, they need to have a really good understanding of the relationships here between, for example, uh, density, mass and volume, or speed, distance and time. There's also pressure, force and area that they need to be really confident with. Um, they also need to have that sound understanding of um, the metric conversions, um, particularly um, how to apply these when you're dealing with um, units of area or volume. Another area, a uh, more broad type of question that grade five students are, are, are differentiate themselves on are these show that or proof questions. Um, here was an example from one of our theme papers on algebraic proof. And we're actually going to look at those theme papers now because these are a really great resource to support um, targeting these more advanced topics. So the theme practice papers are available on the Emporium. Um, there's this whole set for foundation tier of uh, exam questions by topic. And so here you can see on screen some key topics um, that we've identified for grade five. You've got a whole set of practice papers for each one of these. Um, so a really great resource for targeting and helping your students to uh, get lots of exposure and practice in these more difficult and challenging topics. And of course, our grade five students uh, really need to make sure that they can work successfully with those crossover questions. So a fantastic targeted resource. They need to build lots of resilience with lots of exposure to these types of questions. They're generally our AO3 questions um, that are the most complicated topics that appear at the back end of that foundation paper. Um, really ensuring that students understand the mark schemes behind these questions as well so that they understand how they can pick up marks even if they um, are only able to kind of get part way into the question. And of course, we've got aiming for grade five practice papers. Quick reminder, these are 45 minute tests, so they're perfect to use in lesson. Um, and they are targeted at those questions that uh, the grade five students were successful on on the paper. So they are very much the most challenging questions from your foundation papers. Quick reminder of a few key resources. We've got our YouTube playlist on using your calculator. Confidence with the calculator skills is absolutely key. Whether you use these with your students directly or whether you just use it for your own personal reference to say, right, these are the, the things that I need to be teaching explicitly in my lessons and making sure to plan in that time and, and have some dedicated calculator skills lessons, particularly in those key areas such as trigonometry, um, standard form, again, we know the difference it can make when students are actually able to use their calculators effectively to help them deal with these topics. And of course, you can find our revision checklist for foundation within the revision support cabinet on the Emporium. This video is part of your subject advisor support from Pearson. I'm Vicky, your subject advisor for maths and statistics. And if you've got any queries or want any further support, you can contact me in all the different ways that you can see on screen.